Hi there. So we're now in mid-April and um, I'm at the allotment and everything's starting to come together. Um, this is what I've got here is the first batch of daily cuttings which I took um, about seven weeks ago. So the, you can see the uh, they're starting to pile on the, the leafage uh, and they're getting quite tall so yeah the, the, the daily cuttings this year, I'm, I'm way behind last year, but last year I had a full greenhouse, 500 cuttings and I, I didn't really know, 500 rooted cuttings and I didn't really know what to do with them all, so um, it's a bit more controlled this year. Um, having said that, so that's the first batch, I've got about 60 or 70 there. Um, second small batch, uh, which I took, it's mainly poms this, um, more place and I think there's there's a couple of pink carol in there, um. So yeah, that that that's the second batch. It's quite a small batch, but uh, there's still about thirty there. So that's about hundred hundred rooted so far. Um, what I've got on here, uh, that's just a bit of uh, scaffold netting covering the 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 propagator. It's a non-heated propagator, but I've had a therm thermometer in there, and the lowest it, it gets to, the greenhouse is controlled to 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 go no lower than ten, um. And it does get up to 40 degrees 45 degrees in there which is which is pretty hot um but the the cuttings that's in there so they've been in there about a week and a half now and the the bees starting to starting to root um the 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 bottoms of the plants will be starting to push out trying to make roots so yeah um the humidity in here um, I'm trying to keep the humidity high so there's a bit of water on the on the floor. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a bit of water on the floor of the uh, the the propagator. Um, and I've been using a, a, a spray bottle just for just for watering and just keep them misted. Um, I come in here twice a day um, and just give them a quick mist. So this is the morning mist. And then I'll come in later on and I'll uh, I'll give them a I'll give them another mist. So the the lids on. All the vents open, gap in the middle just to let the air flow through um, and the heat out and then the cover back on just to keep the, the sun off them. So yeah, um, that's that. I have got one more late batch of cuttings to take there. Uh, they're quite big, some of them just need hacked back. Um, but yeah, still got some cuttings to take. Uh, I'll probably take the last batch this weekend. Uh, I've got a quiet weekend, work this weekend. So I'll get, a, I'll get that took. Um, in giant tomatoes, I've got six plants there. Um, I had really poor germination rate with them. There's about twenty seeds being sown in there, and they just didn't want to know. But um, I've got six, and I've got some more seeds on the way from um, Chris Evans, who's got the UK record. Um, I thought I only had one one seed germinate from Chris's pack, but there's actually a late one uh, come through there, so uh, I've got two. Um, this year. Um, I grew I grew a lot of peppers last year, but well, not a lot. But I, I grew about ten plants. Um, but I'm gonna have a go crack at growing some in the the Kida greenhouse at home. Uh, just because what once the dahlias are off the top bench, uh, there'll, there'll, there'll not be anything underneath. So I'm gonna get a um a proper hydroponic system in there, and I'm gonna grow some hydroponic chilies just to. Have a go at so I've got some uh, some nice varieties there. Um, name a few: butch tea scorpion, Brazilian starfish, uh, orozoku, uh, red seven pot, takasumo, and Bolivian, uh, Bolivian rainbow. So we'll see what happens with them. So that's it in the greenhouse. Um, outside, I haven't really been doing a lot. Um, I've been really busy at work, uh, and when I haven't been at work, I've been back at home with the uh, the kids and what have you. So, but this this weekend, I'll get I'll get a couple hours cracked at it. Um, I haven't got my carrots in yet. Uh, last year, I thought they were a bit big come September, so I'm gonna sow them two weeks later. Uh, I'll get them beds prepared this weekend, and I'll get the carrots sown. Uh, I said in an earlier video that I'm gonna uh, grow in four boxes instead of uh, the two. Uh, reason being is I haven't really got time to be cleaning all the veg on show day, uh, so I'm just gonna grow carrots. 
Uh, I've started by I've started taking the timber away from the the top bed there um, in preparation for growing a, a giant uh, pumpkin. So yeah, it's getting there slowly but surely getting there. We're going to the tunnels. Um, I'll show you in the the raised bed. So I've got the it's a bit noisy, probably a bit noisy, but I've got the sprayers going at the moment. Um, water in the water in the bed on the left there, pouring out the bottom there and dripping over there, but. Um, these have been in uh, about a week now and they're just starting to get their feet in. Um, they were in air pot, they were in 3 litre air pot and uh, I think they're just starting to spread root because the, the top, see the tops of the flags are starting to twist around um, with the sun which means they're, they're taking in um, light. So hopefully they're starting to get their roots in. Uh, I left the, so I watered before I planted out. I left it a week and then uh, this is the first water um, today since planting out so uh, the, the, the roots will have went searching for water uh, stretching stretching the legs out so yeah um, I'll be watering that so I water the bed for 10 minutes I water in the morning so the pressure's high in the taps because if you water later in the evening everyone's got the taps on and uh, the pressure gets down so yeah, 10 minutes of trench, uh, two times a week, uh, Tuesday and Friday, so it's it's, it's split off um, quite evenly. So yeah, leaks is out at last. So that's bed one, planted out. And bed two, this is bed, uh, tunnel two, sorry. This is tunnel two, and this is the airport tunnel. Um, everything in here is going in the airport. Uh, I've got a tank there. I bought a, I bought a one, a proper one, a new one, but I kind of fell through the door. Silly me. Um, so I'm gonna get a flexi tank. I'll take that one back and I'll get a uh, flexi tank. Um, with the air pot, I've I found that the the best way of growing is to get a um a decent irrigation system, and in sort of drip feed, or drip water. Um, so I've I've invested in in a like a premium. Uh, dripper kit. So this one here is from Tank Fed Irrigation. Uh, they're a worldwide company, and the, the quality of the, the the hose and the drippers and everything you can just see it. It's it's miles better than the cheap crap you can get on eBay and what have you. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes of that. I haven't opened the bag yet. I haven't had a good look at it, but um, I'm gonna get that set up this weekend and get all the uh, all the leaks planted out into the big pots so some of them some of them in here like in particular that one there third one down this they're, they're crying to be planted out in the, the final pot so yeah yeah really looking forward to having a good crack at growing in the, the air pot this year i planted some of these earlier on in the year i don't know if you remember um remember us planting them out they've been in there about a month i've had them in the greenhouse and and yeah, that's absolutely huge. That's really, really dark. The foliage on that. There's not a there's not a mark on it, um, thrip wise or anything. So yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Um, insect control uh, for thrip and spider mite and what have you. I'm using them um, same as last year. Uh, Vidate to systemic insecticide. So yeah, um, and I've got an interesting one. At the at the home, at, at Makita greenhouse at home, I'm not going to use chemicals in that greenhouse. Reason being, um, the kids are in there, uh, quite regular helping us, and I don't really want uh, harsh chemicals kicking about while they while they're in the uh, in the back garden. So I'm going to use um, like a a, a, a predatory mite uh, in retaliation to to thrip, so it eats the thrip. Um, so no chemicals, not even organic chemicals. Um, I'm going down the full organic route of introducing um, another insect to eat it. So it'll be very interesting. Um, I'm getting them from a company called Mike Munchers. Uh, great lad, Alex. Um, so yeah, I'll put a, I'll put a link uh, in the bottom in the description. Um, but I'll, I'll be doing another video in the next couple of days of the giant onions at home. So. Uh, watch this space so that's it 
not really a great deal to show you uh, apart from the, the obvious of planting out the leeks but yeah I'll uh, I'll do another video at home and um, I'll also do a, a video of, of uh, setting the irrigation system up. So that's it. Thanks for watching.